Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you are new here, hey, welcome. I hope you consider subscribing. And if you're back, as always, welcome back. Today, I am here with a combo small shop haul and happy mail video. So I have had a little bit of a backlog, it feels like for quite some time, but I've had some friends send some things over. I have had a couple of small shops send some goodies over to my PO box. And then I have some things and goodies that I have purchased myself from some different small shops in the community. So I actually have a playlist that's entirely dedicated to different small shop hauls that I've done in the past. So I encourage you to go and check that out. If you're curious to find out more about some different different crafting and diamond painting shops in our community. I love to use this series as an opportunity to highlight a variety of different small businesses and hopefully let you guys know about some small businesses that you haven't necessarily heard of before. I'm sure you're also going to see some of my old favorites in here, but most important thing that I want to mention, well, actually there's really two. So first is that I'm going to link to all of the small shops mentioned here, as well as their associated social media platforms, including if they have a Facebook group or something like that. I'm going to link to all of these down in the description box below. Please go and give their Etsy shop a heart to give their shop a follow, join their Facebook group. That way you can follow along with the new and wonderful things that they are releasing. Um, and also the second thing I wanted to say that's really important is that if you are a small shop owner or if you know of a small shop that you haven't seen me try out and you would like me to try them out for you so that you can have a sense for what to expect from a particular small business, please feel free to let me know. I would be more than happy to take a look and make a purchase of my own. Um, as long as something catches my eye, I love supporting small businesses in the community. And there's at least a couple of things in here that I made purchases, their shops I made purchases from based on recommendations from you guys. So I do very much take them to heart and I get excited about getting to try new shops. Anyway, we have a lot to go through today, as you can see, so I'm gonna dive right in. I wanna start out with some happy mail from a couple of shops that have sent me some fun things before. So um, this, I feel so bad because this has been in my PO box for a little while. This arrived right about when my oldest had to go into the hospital for emergency surgery. <laughs> he's fine, he, he's really, he's fine. Um, but I had to contact the shop owner and be like, I am so sorry. This is just sitting in my PO box at this point. I really am so excited to get into it. Um, but just letting you know why there's a delay and I'm so sorry. <laughs> She's very, 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 very understanding. So this box was sent over to me by a shop over on Etsy. I believe the owner's name is Sheila. And let me just triple check the name of her Etsy shop so that I make sure I have it totally correct. I also want to be really careful about opening this up. I believe it's Squippy Dog. Let me take a look. It was on that return address label. Okay. So yes, Squippy Dog 3D Designs. I am so excited <laughs> to see what all is in here. I do have a PO box, by the way. Um, so, ooh, look at the goodies. <laughs> so first she included, here is a business card. I'll link to their Etsy shop, of course. I have heard of this shop before and I was really excited when they contacted me. Included a thank you card and some stickers. I actually have a bit of an ever-growing sticker collection, as well as a very sweet thank you note. Um, so she said, thank you for agreeing to review our products. I know you'll love them as much as I do. I'm a diamond painting enthusiast myself. And when I realized the tools I was looking for either didn't exist or if it did were of poor quality, I decided to make them. I use all of our products myself and they didn't get posted online until they were perfect. And I was extremely picky. Awesome. <laughs> I am really picky too. Um, our trays are sturdy, supporting all kinds of drills with high ridges to line the drills up perfectly. The stopper fits snugly to prevent spilling as a place for a label. So when placed in our stackable tray tower, you know exactly which trail drills are inside. The pen holder will hold three average size pens plus wax and tips. The lid is designed to fit tightly so it doesn't come off easily, making it perfect for diamond painting on the go. Or as I do, put it open on your desk, use a gel pad if it's slanted to put pens in and the lid becomes a small bin or dish to put other small objects in. Please visit our little shop on Etsy as we have other items also, such as our sculptured nameplates and our holiday plates with more items coming soon. 
We appreciate your honest opinion and any suggestions you may have. Thank you again. So sincerely, Sheila, a.k.a. Squappy Dog or and Bob. So I actually I'm going to be filming my whip and chat after this, and I am planning to use these products in that whip and chat so that you guys will get to see these in action and I will be able to give them some feedback and a review. Thank you for the candy. <laughs> I wonder if she watches my channel and hears me talk about how my kids love Smarties and lollipops especially. So yay. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I will definitely test these out to show them in action so you guys can get a sense for these. That's another thing I really do try to do as well is to tr actually try out and work with the products that I share in these small shop hauls so that you can see not just what they look like at first glance, but also how do they seem to work in action? This isn't a perfect print, but it's still good. Oh no, <laughs> no worries at all. I feel like a lot of times when owners say that, it's like, I don't, I can't even find the defect. <laughs> as long as it holds the drills, I am a happy camper. As long as I can test it out, okay. And of course my nails are not letting me do you tell me about this? Ooh, this is pretty. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's rainbow. <gasps> is this? Oh, she personalized it. Oh, how fun. So I'm guessing you do personalization. Oh, for holding pens. And you guys know I have pens galore. And I actually, I tend to pull out different pens that I have themed for the kit that I'm working on and like to have those sitting out on my desk. But now if I can put them in here and put the cover on. <gasps> I love that. I haven't ever seen a pen holder like this before. I'm stoked to give that a try. Thank you so much. I love the rainbow gradient as well. That's so pretty. And thanks for the personalization. So fun. Right, let's take a look at this. So this looks like this one is going to be a tray. They have been around for a while and I... I'm really excited to actually get to try their products. I've seen friends and fellow diamond painters and creators try try them out. So like I said, I think they have been in business for a bit. <laughs> Ooh, pink. I think she might have asked me for some color preferences. And I was like, well, pink. <laughs> there you go. Fresh off the printer. Wipe with a dryer sheet before using to prevent static. That is actually a really helpful tip, you guys. If you run into static on... Uh, while you're diamond painting, sometimes it's not just static that's actually in with your, um, like the drills, like in the container themselves. Sometimes your tray can get staticky. So I like to have a dryer sheet handy to take care of stuff like that. Sorry, I'm making a mess. It's pretty washi tape though. <laughs> I think this is, oh, it's a minder. How fun. Love that. I think this is going to be another set. I think this is the same business card I have. Some more stickers. I do love the color on this a lot. So there is that. Oh, that's where you would put a label. So to be honest, I won't necessarily use this for labels, but I think that it was just how I pulled that out that that, that kind of snapped right there. But I love that that's, that's a really nice feature. If you like to kit up into... Um, like put lots of different colors into lots of different trays and then you can put the label on the side. That's such a great idea. Oh, they personalized this one too. Thank you. I do love that pink color. So these are 3D printed and it looks like it's been printed like really cleanly. Um, and this is a good size for me, I feel like. Um, I, cause I like to multi-place and so I like that this is big enough that I will easily be able to multi-place with this tray. Love it. Thank you so much. There's one more thing in here. Set that to the side. My gosh, totally spoiled me. I thought that they were just going to send over a tray for me to try out. I love even like that tissue paper wrapping job. Like this is super cute. Oh my gosh. It's like they know I'm obsessed with pens. You guys, they sent over two of these pen holders. Oh my gosh. And how cute would this be? I could stack them. And then it says my name, Diamonds and Washi. And I can have as many pens out as I want. And they're two different colors. Yay. Thank you so, 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 so much. Again, you guys, all of these goodies, these two pen holders with lids, as well as the tray with the stopper with a spot for a label and the minder. These all came from Squibby Dog Designs. 
over on Etsy. So I am really looking forward to trying those in my whip and chat that I'm going to be filming later this evening. So please stay tuned. <laughs> All right. I have some friend mail over here that I'm going to get into. I'm just going to enjoy having that rainbow goodness over there. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for sending that over. Now this was sent over by my very, very sweet friend, Jenny. She is such a sweetheart. She asked if she could send something over to my PO box. I think this was, she had said that it was right before everything kind of happened with Connor. Um, and she was like, don't rush it all. <laughs> um, so let me take a look here. So I think this is a note from her. Uh, Katie, the item in the organza bag is from me. I custom ordered it as one of M Muni Maid's custom crochet orders. Um, Oh, so this one is from Muni Maid and this over here is from Ginny. So Ginny is so sweet. She's a Patreon of mine and she is always finding the neatest little things and sending them over uh, to share with me. She's such a sweetheart. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. What is this? <gasps> what? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. <gasps> I am Dying Muni Maid hand crocheted this. It's a fox pumpkin. <gasps> Thank you so much. Okay, would you believe I was literally, I was watching Muni Maid's podcast video episode over on Muni Maid's channel. Um, I'll link to, by the way, Muni Maid's account as well as to Ginny's Instagram if you want to follow her diamond painting progress. But I saw Muni Maid showing one of these and I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. I should ask if she does commission orders, like custom orders. <gasps> and now I have one of my own. Thank you so much. That's so cute. I love everything. Foxes and it's a fox pumpkin. I am dying. This is adorable. So cute. And look at me being a completely completely rude gift receiver and just skipping right past the card. So you are loved to Ginny or to Katie from Ginny. And then there was, there's a card here and here's Muni Maid's business card. Muni Maid, you're going to see another package from Muni Maid in here that I actually ordered, but she has, um, lots of crochet goodies and then her trays are what she's also, I think probably most well known for. Oh my gosh, it's a box card. It's so cute. Let me take a quick look before I show you. Okay, so she said, I commissioned this little fox pumpkin for you back in February from Unicorny. Um, oh my gosh. It was a total coincidence that it was finished when you were dealing with Connor's illness and hospitalization. I know how difficult this experience has been. I hope this little guy will bring you a little joy. Love, Jenny. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. That is so incredibly sweet and thoughtful and I love it and I don't even care that it's not fall. This little adorable fox is going to be living on my desk from now on. <laughs> I love it. He's just gonna sit there and look at us. So, and then this she said was from um, Muni M Muni Maid. I should ask her if she has a preferred like name to go by. So I'm not sure what's in here, but I'm so curious. To Katie from Unicorny. Aww, look at that. I want to know what's in there, but first, open the card. Aww, you are so loved. I was so excited when Jenny reached out about commissioning me to make you a fox. We thought this little fox pumpkin would brighten your day. We love you. Oh, uh, she said, I'm so sorry for all the stress and illness you and your family have been experiencing. You guys are all in my prayers during this difficult time. Wishing Connor a speedy recovery and congrats on 10K subscribers. Oh, thank you so much. You guys, this community has just made me feel so incredibly loved while we've just been going through a lot as a family with illness and everything. So thank you for that. Don't let, yes, amen. Don't let anyone ever dull your sparkle. <laughs> Love that. <gasps> no way, you guys. Muni makes scrunchies. These are all Harry Potter themed and I'm so excited. I actually, I use scrunchies in my hair and I wear them just on my wrist. I love it. Look at that Deathly Hallows print. Look at the Hedwig Owls. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Muni. That is so, so sweet, you guys. Seriously, this community is so sweet and just the best. 
Okay, I'm gonna try not to get emotional. Let's keep it rolling. So this came, oh, thank you guys again. Thank you, Ginny. Thank you, Meanie Maid. It is such a sweet and thoughtful gift. Next up, this, I I don't remember Sharon saying that she was sending me something. Then this came and I was like, did I order something or did she send something? So I'm excited to take a look at this. This is from Shiny Shaza, Sharon over at Shiny Shaza. She makes resin art and she's always trying out new things. I have a few different trays from her. Um, and I know, I don't know if I make her cringe, I just totally destroy these boxes. <laughs> um, and I always love seeing what she comes up with. So she does include notes in here as far as caring for your resin drill tray, info about the cover minders and magnets. So let's take a look. Handmade with love. Like I said, I think that she just sent this over to be sweet. Oh, look, I've seen these in her shop. Look, this is a minder. You can use a minder to hold back the plastic cover of your diamond painting. And this is made from resin. I've seen a variety of, of different colors in her shop. That is adorable. Oh my gosh. And then, ooh, is this what I think it is? Oh my gosh. So you you guys look oh my gosh i love this color so much this is one of her new butterfly trays i love it now these kinds of trays can be a little bit tricky to get the drills out of i need to play around with it and see if i can find like a really easy way to do it but i love how fun this will be to work with i have little eyes up here and the colors are so pretty i like that it's partially transparent partially opaque. Like I said, she does some really beautiful things with resin art. Look at those gold flakes. Thank you so much, Sharon. What a treat. And this is so cute. Like I said, Sharon is always trying fun new things over in her shop and like getting new molds and stuff like that to try out. So yay. Love that. <laughs> okay. Next up, what should we do next? Mm, let's go over here. What do I have over here? So, okay. This is a package. This is one of my orders from Randa's Crafty Corner. This has been sitting here for a little bit and it's actually been killing me inside. <laughs> like I really, really want to get this in so that I can try this out. So, okay. Make sure you don't see my address or her address. Thanks for the candy and goodies. Randa has a YouTube channel and she has an Etsy shop where she makes some really fun diamond painting accessories. Okay, invoice and then we have stickers. Those are super cute. So she just released a new kind of scented wax formula. I haven't had the chance to try it out yet. So um, here are some instructions. You can pause if you like, or if you order this yourself, you will have those instructions handy. And then I also got some of her, some more of her scented putty, which I love. Instructions for that as well. So I was excited to see that she had tried out a new wax formula. And so I decided to get a couple of different scents to try out. And I love the scents of her stuff too. So this one is soft cashmere scented wax. Ooh, that smells so good. So, so good. So you'll probably have to, I don't know if you'll have to scrape or poke. I'm going to try this out in my whipping chat tonight though, and I'll be able to let you know. And then I went ahead and got, this is bubble gum as well. So it looks like she didn't color it. She just probably used scent or oil. Oh, it smells so good. Do not eat. It smells good enough to eat, but don't eat. Yay. I'm so excited to give that a try. And then I couldn't order like from Randa and not get some of her scented putty. I love using her scented putty in my multi-placers. So I got hazelnut cream, which I just, I love hazelnut. I love Nutella. So, oh my gosh, it smells good enough to eat. So the way that she packages it is she puts it between a couple of sheets of release paper you get a square of it. It lasts a very long time. You don't have to use much at all to fill up your multi-placer. So I have, you know, yet to go through any significant amount of her wax because it really does last a long, long time. So yay, definitely go check out Randa's Etsy shop. She restocks, I think on Mondays, unless she takes weeks off. I'll link to her Instagram as well so you can stay up to date with her restock schedule. So, 
Oh, I do have, I've had this for a little while. This is one of those shops that this was a viewer recommendation. This is a new to me shop. I think that they're located in, I wanna say Spain. And so the shipping was a little bit high, but it wasn't terrible, but it's a resin art shop. And they had just some gorgeous trays that I was really intrigued by. And I wanna say, I'll be able to tell you in a moment, I don't know if this was lined. So I might be using this mostly for, actually, nope, I feel the lines, candy. So I can use it for lots of different kinds of diamonds. I was gonna say, if it's not lined, I'll just use it for special diamonds. Here's a little note from their Etsy shop. And then sticker is always, that's a fun sticker. <laughs> And then business cards, is this a sticker too? Like I said, I'll link to their Etsy shop. And then it's wrapped in tissue paper. Thank you for supporting my small business. We'll just go ahead and rip into this, but look how cute that is. This is big. Like that's the size, like look at it on my hand. That is big. I love all things mythical creatures and I was so intrigued to try this kind of diamond painting tray. I wonder, if this will be mostly something that I just enjoy using for show, like to hold things in, or if like if the diamonds will be too difficult to see against the back design, but I will be sure to try it out soon so that you guys can see. I like the glitter detail on the sides, or the edges rather. It does have nice height, and then there's a spout here to pour your drills out. So yay, love that. It looks to be really cleanly cut. I love it. I love seeing what resin artists can do. I have like not an artistic bone in my body. So that's always really, really fun to see. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead. And since we're kind of on a tray, tray theme here, let me show you. I do have one more tray. This is taking up more space than I realized. So I'm just shifting. Okay. So this is an order. Speaking of Muni made, by the way, over here with these and the scrunchies. She hand makes those scrunchies, by the way. Isn't that so fun? Um, I decided to order a tray. <laughs> I'm trying to remember if this was from, I don't think this was from the customs. I think I grabbed this in a tray drop. And to be honest with you, I don't even remember what color I ordered. <laughs> it's been a minute. Let's, let me check and see. Okay, so, oh, okay. Okay, so this is from their discount section, which they're always really transparent about like, okay, but also look at the key packaging. I'm like not making space for myself here. Um, they're really transparent about um, if there is anything wrong with any of the trays and they put them in a discount section, but she is so picky about what she'll even put in the discount section that I'm not even worried about <laughs> how this one is going to be. But Muni Maid's trays are 3D printed and um, she has such a beautiful variety of colors. Her trays do sell out fast. A lot of these shops sell out really quickly. So if you're having a hard time getting your hands on something, actually really like that. I recommend setting alarms, especially for something like Muni Made. Follow her on Twitter and you'll see exactly when restock times and dates are happening. So I really, I love these unicorn sets because the colors, there's a color gradient and no two are ever gonna turn out the same. I loved this one because the base color of the tray, it's like a really muted pink. It's not showing up terribly well in camera, but I love a muted pink. Now I'm looking and I swear to you, I have no idea what's wrong with this tray. Like, I have no clue why this was in the scratch and dent section instead of just the regular section. But they are meticulous. They're extremely picky about what trays they will and won't list and what they'll put in the discount section and what they won't even put there. This looks like a perfect tray to me. Muni, what is wrong with this tray? I don't understand. <laughs> what is wrong with this lid? I also do not understand. I like that the lids, they kind of snap in well and then they pop off really easily as well. And then we also, we have a stopper. So discount sets, especially one like this where I'm literally like, what, I don't understand. What is wrong with this tray? <laughs> Um, this is a great way to save a little bit and also to get a fun combo like this. So yay, Muni Maid. Thank you so much, my friend. Okay, let's get into, like, where did 
do I put things anymore? I have some pens and then I have something that is not totally diamond painting related. So we'll end with the pens because I always seem to end with the pens. But while this here is not diamond painting related, I'm gonna make it diamond painting related because maybe I'll set some of my pens in it or use it for some other cute decor on my desk. But this is actually from a shop uh, that was started by someone that I went to college with. Um, her name is Allison, and she has started a really neat set of small businesses. And this one is from Wander Plant Pots. And she comes up with the really most interesting concepts for pots. And when I saw her preview this one on her Instagram, I was like, okay, I have to have that. I will find a way to use it on my desk. It is so stinking adorable. Look how well and carefully it was packed. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, she comes up with all of these really original concepts and they do sometimes get copied by other shops, which is unfortunate. So I love getting to support her. I really wanted to make sure I shared this in this uh, video because she is about to shut down her shop for a few months for maternity leave. So um, be sure to go and give her a follow. But this is a this is a plant pot. I'm probably going to use it for decorative purposes. But look at this adorable pot. Okay, so a little tag on there. Super cute branding. I like, don't want to accidentally pop one of these sprinkles off. Oh my gosh, you guys, is this not so stinking adorable? I couldn't resist. It's a waffle cone pot with like the dripping down icing. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. It's so cute. Now she hand makes every single one of these um, and there's always lots of different designs. She tends to sell it relatively quickly, um, but no two of them are ever going to be the same because she has hand created these. I love that. Thanks so much, Allison over at Wander Pot Plants, Plant Pots. So sorry. I really hope that things are going well with you and that you enjoy maternity leave and getting to snuggle that adorable little baby of yours. <laughs> so let me set this one off to the side here. I'll just be able to appreciate the cuteness here. I'm not going to have enough room for all oh my goodies. Oh my goodness. Okay. So the rest I have for you are pens. Yay. Pens. What's the rule? If you see a small shop haul that doesn't have pens from me, that means that I'm sending out a smoke signal. Okay. These boxes always take me a minute to get through. I did discover that uh, stabbing them open with tweezers is a lot like more effective, fast, safe than scissors. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, I'm just using an old pair of tweezers. Oh, I think I missed a spot. I appreciate that they're so carefully packaged, but oh my gosh. All right. This is from Butterfly Effect Wears from their drop this last weekend. And this is gonna be one of the peacock pens. I'm so excited. Also stay tuned for some really exciting news coming soon. An exciting announcement from myself and Butterfly Effect Wears. Yay! <laughs> Nothing to say yet, but stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> so wrapped in tissue paper, we got an airhead, a sticker, and I love their business cards, the iridescent effect. I told you guys this is gonna be a big small shop haul and happy mail video. <laughs> so are you ready? <gasps> Okay, you guys, the camera doesn't do it justice. Look at this pen. So this was inspired by a peacock. And can't you see it? The glints of blue and purple and green. I love the subtlety of it so much. And look at the sparkle. Oh my gosh. Now, no two of their pens are exactly the same. Even if they were to do another peacock drop, it would likely be still a slightly different set of blanks. So I don't know if they will do another one. We will have to wait and see, but that is mine. I'm stoked to have it. Yay. Thank you, Butterfly Effect Wears, for making such gorgeous pens. Their pens sell out super, super fast. So you got to be quick with the fingers there. This package, I haven't gotten something from this shop in a minute. C'est plus beau a tour. They're located in France, but their shipping is, I think they just have it as free. It's very, very reasonable. And they make some really gorgeous pens, but like many of these shops, they sell out super quickly. <gasps> Look at it. 
Oh my gosh, I love, 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 what is this, sponge? These spongy pens and this one being shades of pink. I couldn't resist. And what you're seeing here, yes, this is actual cinnamon. The pen smells like cinnamon. Isn't that so pretty? I love it. Yay. Now, uh, these pens sell out quickly. I really strongly recommend you join the Facebook group because that is where they will sometimes do pen drops. Um, because they'll sometimes do pen drops that are just by random comment picker and some will be on Etsy. So whichever one you prefer, they tend to have some of each. So yay, c'est plus beau tour. I'll link to their Facebook group below, of course. Now, this is a shop that I have not ordered from in well over a year. When I was doing my pen stash video, I was like, oh my gosh, I haven't checked out Deli's custom diamond painting pens in forever. So I went over to their Facebook group and took a look and they had this blank listed that I could not resist. I was able to pick how I wanted it turned. And <gasps> I don't remember what the name of the blank was. Pastel unicorn, sponge unicorn. Doesn't this just scream spring? Oh my gosh. Now, like I said, I have not ordered from Deli's diamond painting pens in a long time. I think that they are just on Facebook, but so, so pretty. I'll link to their Facebook group. I'm really excited to get to try, get to try out one of their pens again. So, 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 so cute. Love it, love it, love it. So you guys, this was today's small shop haul slash happy mail video. Thank you so much to the gifts from friends. Thank you to Squippy Dog 3D Designs over on Etsy for sending me some adorable pen holders. Let me show you by the way. Um, some adorable pen holders and a tray to try out. Uh, thank you to Shiny Shaza for sending over another tray to try out. Love those resin trays, so look. I can just set these in here and we are good to go. Oh my gosh, and they're protected. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, let me set these here so you can still see them. Um, and thank you to all of these small business owners for making such incredibly gorgeous goodies that we get to use to make our diamond painting and crafting experiences just that much more lovely. Thank you to Ginny and Muni Maid for the really incredibly sweet and thoughtful gifts. Those really brightened my day. Um, you guys, you know that you're never, ever, ever obligated to send me anything, but I certainly don't want you to feel unappreciated when I very, very much appreciate when you have sent me something. So thank you so much. You guys, I really enjoyed sharing this small shop haul with you all and hopefully introducing you to some new small shops in the community. Like I said, I'm gonna link to all of them below as along with, as, <laughs> along with their associated social media accounts. Go and show them some love. Um, and uh, yeah, let me know if there are any small shops that you would like me to try, including if you own one yourself. So I'm gonna let you guys go because this has been a nice long video, but I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did and you found it hope helpful, would you mind giving this video a thumbs up before you head out? And if you're not already subscribed and would like to see lots more diamond painting content from me, including future small shop hauls, feel free to subscribe and hit the button to be notified when I share new videos. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my friends, thanks again for watching. I hope you're having a really wonderful day and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.